In Japan, this man is known as Take Sensei, the Samurai Master. In spite of how it may appear, Aikido is called the gentle martial art. Unlike karate, there is no blocking, kicking, or punching. Aikido uses the force of the attacker and turns it back against him. Moves are subtle, taking advantage of angles, leverage, and pressure points. The object of Aikido is to avoid collision and turn a violent situation into one of harmony. There is no resistance, there is no conquering, there is no killing, there is no winning. In the universe, in nature, it's all something that's taken care of within itself. It's, it's all a balance. impression as I'm sure most people say uh, he's very big <laughs> he's very tall um, big hands and uh, centered a presence that you know even if even somebody that doesn't study Aikido can can feel there was a magnificence about him as well he was one of the first Anglos to be given credentials to teach Aikido in Japan when he would walk in he'd feel someone entered the room I had no idea what he was doing. He's very fast. Like lightning. You'd sit there and you'd watch him do a technique and he did it so fast that I had no idea what he just did. But what did he do? It was too fast, I couldn't see it. And then he did these great flips and different kinds of falls. And, and then I saw everybody else doing it. And they didn't do it anything like the way he did it. works on a philosophy of positive versus negative energy. An aggressive act, such as an attack upon an innocent person, is negative force. Defense is positive, 
And according to Aikido, we'll always win as long as one remains in contact with the universe. The power of the Aikido master lies in an accumulation of ki, the power of mind. But it can be deadly when applied directly. Aikido, or being one with the universe, as Steve says, produces some unbelievable results. We don't know how this power works, but we're about to see it demonstrated even more dramatically.